I know, I know. This is way overdue. I'm sorry. So cutting straight to the chase, we have Shriram's home screen setup, a single page setup with some neat customizations included throughout. So what really helps keep things minimal is obviously that dark starry backdrop, which has been kindly sent through, link below obviously. And a wallpaper like this is great because you can add pretty much anything on top of it and you don't have to worry whether you can see it or not. Up the top, we have a really nice weather widget, quite pronounced there, which is great. And then below that, we have two lines just for aesthetic purposes. And as you can see, we have the same two lines mirrored towards the bottom portion of the setup. And these obviously serve as a boundary box for the six application icons in the middle there. We'll come back to those in a moment because down the bottom, we have a time and day widget, nice and simple. But the best part about all of these widgets is that they are in fact one single widget, which Shuram has sent through. And this makes replicating this setup super fast and easy. Back to those apps and here we have the Delta icon pack, which looks great on this dark background. But aside from that, we have a swipe up gesture to launch the app drawer and that is it. A great minimal setup of which I am a fan. After that is Nick's setup, which is a two page setup with lots going on. So here goes nothing. Starting with that wallpaper, this is similar to that previous setup and that it's nice and dark though. This time we have that moon and mountain silhouette smack bang in the middle there. But apart from that, you can place pretty much any widget or icon onto this backdrop and it really does pop and stand out. So in terms of widgets, starting from the top and then working our way down, first of all, we have a today weather clock widget that fills up the top portion of the setup. Then coming just below that, we have a generic battery bar, which is one of the defaults within Zuper Widget Pro. And then coming down below the moon and mountain icon in the middle, we have four application icons, each of which are using the quantum dots icon pack, which I think look amazing. Definitely might keep this in mind for future setups, but from left to right, we have Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Google. And the Google application icon has a swipe up gesture and Enabled that opens up a folder with a bunch of Google applications. Great functionality incorporated there. Down on the bottom right and left, we have two dot application icons. On the left is the phone application and on the right is WhatsApp. And then in the middle there, we have a slightly tweaked widget from the Europa widget pack, which launches Google Assistant upon tapping it. Moving on to page two, we have a different wallpaper here, just a plain gray one, which looks great. And this page is a perfect work and productivity page. So up the top, we have the month calendar widget. Below that are some work related applications that are using the material cards icon pack. And then below that we have a today calendar widget, which will obviously display any upcoming calendar events. I really enjoy this second page. I think it looks clean and simple, even though it has lots going on. So that's a great job there. Aside from that, swiping up takes us to the app draw, which is using icons from the clean circle with outline icon pack. But aside from that, it's an excellent setup. Great stuff. And then last but not least, we have Mason setup, a single page home screen setup with lots of functionality at the fingertips. So this setup is also using a neutral dark gray background, which has somehow become the theme of this video, but that does help keep the overall design somewhat minimal, despite the many application icons you can see here on the home screen. But before we get there, we've got that date, day, time and weather widget in the middle, which has been made using KWGT. And unfortunately, Mason has not sent this one through. So Mason, if you're watching and have the ability to send it, let us know down in the comments below. And then above that widget, we have three main application icons, the settings app, the camera and the gallery. And those along with the other applications on the home screen are using icons from the Flatty icon pack. Oh, and by the way, the gray background is also from the Flatty icon pack, which keeps things simple for this setup. And the surrounding icons have been organized, as you can see, into these sections of four, kind of into diamond shapes, which looks pretty cool. Lots of apps on the one screen, but structured in a way that makes it still look quite appealing. Once again, swiping up takes us to the app drawer, which does look a little bit busy, but that does have the added bonus of fitting more apps onto the one page. The app drawer background is completely transparent, which works well, but overall a very decent setup, which I'm sure will please those of you who prefer having most of your applications at your fingertips without having to swipe into the app drawer. Aside from that, that is it for this episode. And of course, don't forget to let me know which of the setups was your favorite down in the comment section below. As well as this, submissions are now back open for this series. I do wanna get right back into this series this year, but that all depends on the setups that you guys send through. So I will link the submission video below. So if you're interested, definitely check that one out. But that's it from me, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you later.